Methamphetamines, again, is the most evilest drug to hit the face of this planet. It is evil. evil. It is really, really evil. And as you put this process in place, you're speeding up the process. But as you kick him out, you really should get all the other family members all on the same page. Come together as a group, because what happens is he will try to go to one of those other family members. Ask them to come together. Please support me in the decision I make. This is my son. Often what happens, he'll go to his sister, his grandma, or your sister, or your uncle, or his uncle, or his aunt. Get everyone you know that he would run to and get you all on the same page and nominate one team leader to call the shots. And it will speed up the process for him to come into the end of himself really, really quick and come together as a group and bring the truth in love. Don't condemn him. Don't judge him. If you want to use drugs, if you want to use chemicals, if you want to use substances, this is the consequence of your actions. Don't, don't yell at him, don't scream at him, but just continue to love on him. And you'll find that when the cookies crumble, always t speak kindly. You drink your alcohol, he's choosing his drinks and drugs. It's his choice. And as he starts to suffer the consequences of his actions, he'll find that he will get to the end of himself a lot quicker. But a lot of families are no better than the drug addict selling them the drugs because they spare that person from the consequence of their choices. And then when they live in that state over a long period of time, 5, 10, 15, 20 years, they've formulated patterns of behaviour, ways to communicate, ways to express how they feel. They've set boundaries in their life and they've stayed into a place of addiction a lot longer than they should have because of you. Because of you, not listening to that voice telling you right at the beginning, I should have kicked him home. I should have kicked him home. But you didn't listen. And you have been a major, major part of the problem. And that's not okay. You think you're doing the right thing, but in fact you've done the wrong thing. You might as well have gone and scored the drugs, got a nice long big recliner, put a fan on his head, filled a syringe and just stuck it in his arm. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's all you've done. You've provided a safe place for him to do what he shouldn't. And drug addicts, we like to go to have that safe place. We like to go out on a binge. And then we like to go back to mums or dads or brothers or sisters or grandmas or grandpas to that safe place where we know we can sleep for four days, five days without someone going through our pockets, without someone instilling our cash, ripping the rings of our fingers or the chains of our neck. Mum and dads and families is a safe place to rest and recuperate so we can go back for another lap around the paddock. If you take away the safe place, you take away the enablers, you take away a major, major part of the problem. Where they draw the line, you set your boundaries. You don't let them in your home, you set your boundaries, you just keep loving on them. If you have a son or a daughter caught up in addiction, you never give up on them. You never judge them, you never criticise them. But you just keep loving on them. You just keep loving on them, keep loving on them, keep loving on them. But you set your boundaries. You don't let them stay in your house overnight. You just set your boundaries. You don't give them cash. You take them to Hungry Jacks, but you never give up on them. Never give up on them. Guard your heart. Every time you know that you're going to come into their presence, guard your heart. Know they're going to spit out a whole heap of stuff. Every phone call, just guard your heart. Think, okay, they're going to say some bad stuff here. And let them spit it out. Don't process the words. Don't let the words go in your brain. Don't let it go in here. And just love on them and love on them and love on them and love on them. And just keep loving on them. Picture they've got cancer. They're dying. 